name is Sophia Douglas. And I am Karen Shawcross. Karen and I are speaking on behalf of our colleagues in the Spiritual Directors Guild. We prepared this short video to help answer some of the frequently asked questions about spiritual direction. What is it? How does it work? How does it fit into my Unitarian Universalist framework? And how do I go about checking it, choosing a director to work with? Well, let's start with the basics. Spiritual direction is the exploration of a person's spiritual path with someone trained in listening, deep reflection and discernment. As guides in that exploration, we start from the premise that all of life is spiritual, that spirit is found in every experience. And we understand that the path being explored belongs solely to you, the directee. Our work with you then is about taking the next step on that path not taking the step someone else prescribes. So it is more guidance than it is direction. It's often referred to as spiritual companioning. Here's a definition set out by Spiritual Directors International. That's the global professional organization for spiritual directors for multiple traditions. They say, quote, Spiritual direction explores a deeper relationship with the spiritual aspect of being human. Simply put, spiritual direction is helping people tell their sacred stories every day, end quote. A spiritual director can support your unique journey. Working with one of us can help focus your deepest questions. Our role is to provide a safe, confidential space for listening with no judgment and to offer gentle reflections. Especially in these dark and difficult days when we are surrounded by suffering, injustice, and death, a spiritual director can provide you a safe haven for managing these times, managing change, and exploring the deep questions of life, heart, and soul. Although it's an ancient tradition, spiritual direction is not known widely. It may be easier to explain what it is not first. It is not psychotherapy or pastoral counseling. It's not life coaching or lay ministry or religious training. It's not based on a medical model, on setting goals, on fixing you, on dealing with a specific problem or short term duration. It goes much deeper in creating a sacred space for you to explore your spiritual life, the meaning of your life in this world, and your journey. It is a covenanted conversation with a guide who connects you with the mystery that opens your heart. The spiritual director offers a quality of listening that provides help with discerning meaning and action. These conversations can connect you with the sacred in everyday life and support your faith journey and your spiritual practice. So the members of First Unitarians Spiritual Directors Guild share these qualifications. All have completed professional certification training in spiritual direction. We are all committed to the principles of Unitarian Universalism. We follow the ethical guidelines of Spiritual Directors International. We each have a 
own spiritual practice and our own spiritual director. We receive regular supervision and ongoing training. We honor confidentiality. We all offer a first free interview and a sliding fee scale. In the Unitarian tradition, one of our key principles, the fourth, is a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. Your spiritual guide can contribute both experience and wisdom as you find a spiritual practice that best supports your journey. Sometimes that will mean continuing a practice you have already established. And sometimes it might mean experimenting with a variety of methods from meditation to walking the dog or playing a musical instrument, maybe praying or making art for examples. So how do you choose a spiritual director to work with? Well, first you need to find one. Uh, we recommend that you go to uh, the church's website. You can look for the page for the Spiritual Directors Guild, or you can contact the church by phone or email. We encourage you to interview several spiritual directors so you find one who's a good fit for you. Here are some examples of questions you might want to ask a spiritual director when you interview them. What training do you have to be a spiritual director? How do you define spiritual direction and what's your approach to it? How would you describe your spiritual background and orientation? What spiritual practices have been or are the most helpful for you? How would our relationship be structured and what would we do together? Have you ever participated in the UU Wellspring program? If so, how did it help your spirituality? How much do you charge and how frequent and how long will the sessions be? We hope this brief overview has helped in thinking about how you might select and work with a spiritual director. Check the church's website and subscribe to the e-news for announcements about the Spiritual Direction 101 class that we offer periodically throughout the year. In closing, We'd like to let you know that spiritual direction can support you in your unique journey through life. It helps us to learn how to live in wholeness, in peace, with compassion, practicing justice and honoring the UU principles as we are humble servants of that which lies beyond all names. We encourage you to learn more and contact any of us with questions or to arrange interviews. Blessings on your journey.